Hello everyone, this is Day Trading Crypto Scalping. My name is Yaroslav. My trading experience is about one year, but I achieved some good results. I have a situational trading strategy I'm looking for a Z-market cycle which can help me to trade in profit. But the most profitable trades I made were using breakout trading strategy. I will tell you about breakout trading strategy. This video cycle will consist of three parts of videos, uh, then I will tell you how to trade breakout, when to trade breakout, how to trade breakout with profit. In this video we will analyze what types of the market or phases are and at which phase does breakout trading work better. There are two phases of the market. Consolidation, otherwise it's called flat, and breaking of the consolidation is movement. Breakout trading strategy works best in a movement market because The first reason is good possibility. The second reason is the range of stop loss is much shorter. The third reason is high breakout potential. So you need to fever tries to catch a break in the level. Here is an example of the breakout in active market on the left side and in the call market on the right. Left coin Y54 hour time frame in the top corner and more detailed 50 minutes time frame at the bottom. You can see how well the breakout of this level worked. On the first try, this is very good movement. And on the right side we see the situation on Luna. The perfect breakout formation was determined. The third retest to the level trading flat before the level. But the market phase is not for breakout, for the good movement did not take place. Right red arrows on the chart marks false when it overcomes that level. Of course, the price went higher, but there is no point to be in a position in this situation, because we should follow the risks management. In this case, the breakout is not good. So how we catch that moving phase of the market? Everything is simple. In order to do it, we need to open the chart of Bitcoin, that is main coin, and make a technical analysis. I prefer to build levels on the 4 hour time frame and daily time frame. Let's open 4 hour time frame. It's how in front of you. The yellow lines mark the slope levels. Some levels are stronger, some are weaker. It is important that they should be well visible so that they are seen by the entire market. Here is an example of a good and bad slope. The bad slope on the right, you can see how several candles go beyond the slope. This is not good. Pay attention to the left chart. There is the slope which is built clearly and understandable to the whole market. Horizontal consolidation zones are marked with the yellow areas. When market break these zones, you can assume that the market has moved into a phase of movement. To determine a real breakout from consolidation, we need to see 1-2 hours of non-stop trend movement towards the breakout. As you can see in example of crossing levels. There are 1-2 for our green candles. They are marked with the red arrows. This tells us about the active phase of the market at the moment. You can also take the horizontal levels for both low and high as consolidation area. They are also horizontal levels. Look at example. Each historical high for Bitcoin should be considered as the horizontal level. They are highlighted by yellow horizontal lines in this page. These levels are drawn from the extreme points, which are marked with a red arrow. Now let's talk about the market's direction. In simple words, what direction should we trade, long or short? To do this, we need to turn to the Bitcoin chart again, but this time we will take a larger time frame, daily time frame. The red thick line marked a strong slope level, it also a trend line. With the impulse break at down, we can consider that the market trend has changed. An additional fact for the basis of the trend change is the absence of new high level at a price of 65,000, which is marked by a thick yellow line. We also see there was a retest breakout, an approximate price of 59,500 that marked by a green thick line. Now we will analyze the areas of consolidation in the short market. 
The red thick line marked a strong slope level. Still the same trend line, only we have a 4 hour time frame. Yellow lines mark the slope levels and yellow areas mark the consolidation zone. If the presentations move so fast, then I suggest putting the video on pause and learn it more. Earlier I talked about lows, in this case they are marked by yellow horizontal lines on overcoming these levels. We should also expect the active moving market phases. The main breakout idea is we need to be at the computer at the time when Bitcoin is near the boundaries of these levels and areas of consolidation, where there is a high probability of breaking it. Now you see all the screenshots collected earlier for better understanding. You can use this analysis also for Bitcoin. Due to it you can also track other coins because they have a correlation with Bitcoin. Moreover, often this correlation works with a small delay. That is what we will use with for breakout certain levels on altcoins. This is the current time frame. We can say that at the moment the market is in the consolidation phase and he's moving in the short direction. High frequency activity can be expected if the yellow line will be breakouted and then market can continue the short trend. A train change will occur when a thick red line breaks up and the current high is rearranged at the price of 65,000 which is marked by a green thick line. You can also see a kind of triangle that is being formed at the moment, this is a trade information. But I will tell you about the trade informations in the following videos. But we have learned to, to search for points of activity. Now let's figure out when the market faces consolidation. Consolidation arises after strong movements, with a big shot or big up movement. This chart outlines the consolidation areas that arose after a good movement and remember that if the move was big, then the longer consolidation will last. For example, if you woke up in the morning and saw that Bitcoin fell by 20% overnight, then you should not expect a good breakout today, because the market has already made its move and entered into consolidation phase. The market is cyclical. And it is important to remember this. If you have not had time for this movement, that you should not jump into the outgoing train. For example, the recent Bitcoin fallen from 43,000 to 29,000. Uh, this movement is considered very large and something similar should be also expected. I mean a trading flat from some odd time. Of course, there are instruments that move independently of Bitcoin, as an example news movements or large participant who pushes the price of this coin and if the whole market is calm. So in these coins can be interest informations and high activity. To find such coins we need a screener or watch list. Here are the changes in the price in percentage if some coin breaks into the leaders in growth or fall by 10-20% or more. Then it's worth putting it on the desktop and following it. Perhaps interesting trade situation will appear in it. Well, finally we will take stock. We need to use technical analysis to find points of trend direction activity and determine the market phase. Secondly, more time should be devoted to the active phase moving market. Thirdly, use a screener to search for coins in the game. In the next video we will analyze the breakout formations and entry points by other book. If you have any questions then ask them in the comments.